Hello guys, welcome to another exciting video from Engine Nation. In this video today, we take you through some groundbreaking news from the space race. China did something that might prove out to be a serious challenge for SpaceX. But before we tell you what and why, make sure to stick with us until the end. This is going to get very exciting. That said, let's begin. 2021 might just go down in history as the great year for the space race. China, one of the leading players in the space race, had not long ago revealed their plans for matching up to the space travel pace setter, SpaceX. Looking at these plans that are now in motion, we truly think this could prove to be a very serious blowback for Musk. There is a saying that imitation is the best form of flattery, and China had unknowingly thrown tons of flattery at SpaceX on April the 24th during their National Space Day conference. Or maybe they flattered SpaceX without knowing it. It's hard to tell. China's intriguing economic expansion might be lagging behind, but the nation's dreams and aspirations are definitely getting higher by the day. Coupled with strategic efforts to outdo NASA by putting robotic landers and possibly astronauts on the surface of the Moon and Mars, China's government is currently pumping huge support into its space agency to come toe-to-toe -to -toe with the well-known US rivals like Jeff Bezos, Blue Origin, Elon Musk, SpaceX, and NASA. SpaceX recently launched its latest version of the Falcon 9 rocket. The Chinese space authorities have also publicly announced the country's ambitions to forge itself into a major space power by the early 2030s. President Xi Jinping's government is also considering ways to direct spending that will push Chinese tech companies toward breakthroughs in downstream technologies like robotics, aerospace, artificial intelligence, big data analytics, and other 21st century technologies. The majority of China's space ambitions remain focused on boosting Chinese prestige at home and abroad. Yet a push within Xi's government to triple spending on space science as well as the emergence of a small growing group of privately backed space startups suggest that both Chinese industry and government see long-term economic benefits in their investments in space technologies. That increasing flow of capital toward both Chinese state-run and private space-related tech companies could place increased pressure on NASA and eventually on commercial space companies in the United States and Europe. It is not a secret that China has long had what I call a crush on SpaceX. But they have recently made that fact more public by unveiling their rocket design that looks exactly like the Starship. On many occasions, Elon Musk has welcomed competition from other space companies, and it seems China has stepped up to meet the challenge with its own brand of reusable orbital rockets, which appears to be direct clones of SpaceX's Starship. Analysts reckon the space tourism industry, worth around £300 billion today, will be worth over £600 billion by 2030. Of course, this point-to-point -point rocket flights could make it up to a £15 billion industry that threatens to cannibalize long-haul plane flights. As well as SpaceX, rocket companies like Virgin Galactic and Blue Origin are attempting to take tourists to space. Now the question is, can China's Starship clone someday measure up to or possibly outmatch SpaceX's rockets? During the celebration of the 6th National Space Day, also referred to as the Aerospace Achievement Exhibition, in Nanjing Province on April 24, 2021, China unveiled a series of technological advancements and achievements in the rocket industry and interplanetary transportation. The event was to show China's improvements over the years in rocket technology and also as a source of motivation to the generations of future astronauts and potential aerospace engineers. China's Zhongqing 5 mission was the main focus of the exhibition, including the most popular lunar samples it returned with. The Zhongqing 5 missions hold the record for the only space mission to bring back lunar samples in over four decades after the Soviet Union Lunar 24 in 1976. This mission made China the third country to ever bring back lunar samples, with the United States coming up a second after the Soviet Union. The exhibition also revealed China's first Mars rover, called the Zhurong, which arrived on Mars on the 14th of May 2021. 
This placed China on the record as the second country to successfully land and establish communications from the surface of the Martian planet. NASA being the first to land rovers on the Martian surface has actually had a five successful rover landings, but only two of these rovers are currently functional. China does not intend to watch from the sidelines as the world takes on interplanetary travel. They have proven this in a promotional video aired at the exhibition clearly revealing how China is developing a rocket system that looks and probably works exactly like SpaceX's Starship. Linkspace, which is China's first private rocket company, has revealed the designs of its very first new line of launch vehicles, with the potential to match and probably overshadow SpaceX's Falcon 9 in the future. China is currently building a Chinese space station, something like the International Space Station. Amongst China's numerous ambitious goals are plans to build their own moon base and a crewed space station. Most of their future separations clearly are clones of SpaceX's current goals. A recent viral video on China's microblogging site Sina Weibu captioned One Global Arrival in Space Transportation Systems reveals China has adopted two futuristic concepts in the hope of achieving suborbital passenger point-to-point -point flights in the near future. These concepts carry out two-stage vertical takeoff and landing. These rockets are almost the same in appearance as the Starship. These rocket concepts will lift off from Earth, fly into space and return to land at some point on the planet in less than an hour. The rockets shown in the video appear to be exactly like the Starship with its shiny exterior resembling the Starship's stainless steel design. It is also designed with the same triangular aerodynamic fins found in the Starship and its first and second stages are seemingly making it obvious that it is a Starship clone. The second concept revealed a horizontal takeoff and vertical landing vehicle powered by an electronic catapult. China had previously stated intentions of achieving point-to-point -point travel across the globe by 2041 and these two concepts are a start to achieving these goals. China has no doubt been observing SpaceX for some time, biding their time and picking up on the design and production of reusable rocket first stages. During SpaceX's first launch in 2006, a Chinese spy boat was said to have been spotted, docked on a little patch of ocean where the Falcon 1 rocket first stages were supposed to touch down. In 2019, the Chinese Long March 2C launch rocket was designed with grid fins that was seen to be alike with those used in the Falcon 9's first stage to implement automatic navigation and control through the atmosphere during re-entry. China makes these copies similar to those employed by Musk's SpaceX because they intend to build their Long March 8 rocket to land on a sea platform, similar to how the Falcon 9 booster lands. It is undeniable that SpaceX's concepts have greatly influenced China's initiatives. And this is not because China cannot come up with their own genuine ideas and concepts, but because SpaceX has already captured and directed the attention of the public back to the wonders of space exploration. Do you think China can copy every step taken by SpaceX and do exactly what they do? And the most important question of all, can they win the space race? Please do well to share your thoughts in the comment section below. Also, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel for more amazing content and updates. See you in the next video.